body image. What exactly is it? It's your own perspective of what you and other people look like. Some people have a positive body image, while others can have a negative body image. It all depends on your social surroundings. For example, if you're being judged by your peers, or you're hanging out with people who constantly make fun of other people, you will most likely have a negative body image. Another issue that plays a huge role in how you see yourself is the media. It's everywhere. We've got TVs, you have the internet, and you have the magazines. Seeing beautiful, but usually photoshopped, pictures of celebrities is often linked to depression and bad eating habits like anorexia and bulimia. Every year, the consumers provide the dieting industry with at least $40 billion, from dieting pills to dieting programs in hopes to look like their favorite celebrity. The media is brainwashing us into thinking anything bigger than a size 2 is unacceptable. Take Ralph Lauren's advertisements. Philippa Hamilton is a model that stands at 5'10 and weighs 120 pounds. She's anything but overweight. Usually, she looks like this. But Ralph Lauren photoshopped her body to look like this. I asked a couple people what they thought of her new look. She's way too skinny. She looks awfully skinny. I think she's extremely skinny. She's skinny as hell. Her head looks too big for her body. It's like a Barbie. Do you think that looks natural? No. Not at all. Not even a little. It doesn't even look slightly healthy. That can't be real. That's Photoshop. It looks Photoshop. Hamilton wasn't a fan of her distorted body and quote, Some people don't know that it's photoshopped, so some people could think I'm really like that, and it's not true. The problem was addressed to Ralph Lauren, and the next thing you know, the girl that had been modeling for him since she was 16 years old was fired. Apparently, she was let go as a result of her inability to meet the obligations under her contract. In other words, she was too fat for them. What do you think of that? That's horrible. Wow, that's that's terrible. Really? So do you think that's a good message to be telling kids? Like, horrible. you'll get fired if you don't look a certain way? No, that's bad. Do you think it was fair? No. No, no I think that's just... It's really mean and considering what you have to weigh to be a model, like you need to be a size 2. And if she was, what, a size 4 and I didn't like it, I think that was disrespectful. So. Do you think that's a good role model to be giving teens? No. Girls think that they're supposed to look like that, but it's not real, mm -hmm. so they're going to keep on losing weight. Who's this Ralph Lauren guy? Is there like a Ralph Lauren at the top of this company? Or? Yeah. I think we should probably beat him up. Yeah, okay. With the fashion industry being so critical, it's no wonder there are so many girls that have problems with the way they look. Here are a few facts and statistics to help you put this into perspective. Fact number one. 91% of girls feel anxiety or stress about some part of their looks when they get ready in the morning. That's a lot. It really doesn't surprise me. I mean, keeping in mind I, I live with somebody in that category that freaks out every morning because mm -hmm. something's not going right. But yeah, that's still really bad. Fact number two. 28% of girls starve themselves when they're feeling down in the dumps. That's ridiculous. Yeah. They shouldn't have to think that way. Fact number three. One out of four teen girls would say yes to plastic surgery to change the way they look. Seriously? Yeah. It's definitely not a healthy thing to have for life. I mean, you should be happy with what you've got, and if you're really not happy with it, go to the gym, work out naturally, don't think that money can change everything for you. Fact number four, 38% of girls said life would be better if they look like celebrities. Well, that's a load of In In order to look like a celebrity, like, you have to go like on diets and plastic surgery yeah. and everything because well, they're like they're and perfect. heavy makeup. Yeah, yeah, heavy makeup. Like, it's not even worth it. Yeah. Fact number five: Almost half of teen girls say that when they look in a mirror, the only thing they see are their flaws. Even if they look like this to themselves, they might look like this. This perception of themselves is obviously unrealistic, and it can cause them to develop some really bad eating habits, like only eating one type of food or not even eating at all. Sure, it might make them feel better now, but in the long run, it can lead to health consequences and sometimes even death. What people need to realize is there's no such thing as the perfect body. We just need to learn to accept ourselves for who we are and not put ourselves at risk by trying to be someone we're not.